We are looking at figure 5.5 on page 98 of your textbook. This figure only tries to show you how to add up individual marginal abatement cost functions in order to get the total or the aggregate marginal abatement cost function. So in this example over here we only have two individual sources, source A and source B. And you can see they have different shaping marginal abatement cost curves. This is because um, it's two different sources and every source is unique, there's unique circumstances and all these different circumstances determine the shape of the marginal abatement cost function. So um, that's why they look different. And now we're just going to add source A to B in order to get the aggregate or another word for aggregate is total marginal abatement costs. So let's start at the cost of W um, given to us on the figure. At a cost of W, the, my first source, source A, emits 10 tons per week. I was able to clean up for that cost 10 tons of emission per week. Source B is able, at a price of W, to clean up 7 tons of emissions per week, right? So that gives us a total abatement of 17 tons. And if we take this through, we'll see on the total curve, I have a cost of W, and right over here is 17 tons of emissions per week. So that's the same as my total here. Um, I'm just going to do one more or two more um, cost, uh, cost um, points to show you how we add it up. For instance, let's take one that hasn't been named, let's call it um, W1. At a cost of W1, uh, source A is able to go down to 5 emissions a week. At a cleanup cost of W1, source B is able to go down to 5 emissions a week. So that's 5 plus 5 gives me a, a total of 10 emissions a week. So at a price of W1, my total market can go down to 10 emissions a week for a price of W1. Or I can have a W2 cost over here, which is a bit lower, meaning I won't be able to clean up that much. At a cost of W2, there will still be 16 emissions left for, for this factory over here. Let me just clean up this. So 16 left. And at a cost of W2, um, a source B would stand on 12 emissions a week. So both of them weren't able to clean up that much because the price of the abatement cost is a bit lower. And in total, they could only clean up 28. So 28 tons of emissions, or they're at 28 tons of emissions a week. Um, this graph isn't important to be, you, sh you have, don't have to be able to draw it. It's just important to, for you to understand where we get the aggregate marginal abatement cost and how to add up the sources. It's more just to explain the theory. Uh, you won't be asked to draw this or to add up to marginal abatement cost functions in the exams.